Clear Parametric 6.0 added some improvements to model check. First off, let's run model check on this particular part. And in the report that comes up, you can see I've got quite a few different errors and warnings in here. So for example, incomplete features, let's delete that. Oops, select it from the list and then delete it. And insert mode. Let's deactivate insert mode and a few other different ones. Let's add these different parameters. Take care of some missing layers. So once you make some changes in here, once you start fixing some of the errors directly in the model check report, you used to have to close out of here and then re-enter model check. But now there is a rerun button in here. And when you click on it, it'll run model check again. And expand my errors in here. You'll notice that the incomplete features is gone. The insert mode is gone. And some of the stuff about layers uh, are also missing from in here. So that's the big one. You no longer have to jump out of model check and order to rerun it. You can do it right from within the dialog box. Let's take a look at some of the other different checks that were added in here. So uh, let's jump over to an assembly. And when I run model check, let's do all levels. They changed assembly features instead of just a yes, no to also an error or a warning. And let me go and chill over here. So for example, I have it in my checks file that shows that if you have assembly level features, it's a warning. Now, I don't really think it should be a warning. I just wanted to show you how you could see it in here if you have assembly level features in your model uh, that you could set it up as an error or a warning instead of just a yes or no kind of report. And a bunch of the other different options deal with annotations in order to support model-based definition. So for example, I have one here for annotations, missing surface references. Uh, that one can have a value of yes, error, or warning. And here you can see that we have some different driving dimensions in here that aren't associated to uh, referencing particular surfaces and so you could say hey you know I know about that let's ignore those in the future another one that you have here is for annotations missing in combination states so if you create some different annotations and they're not on combination states you can get the error about that and then you can go fix and add them on here uh, let's see some of the other different ones in here just checking for the you know there's a lot in here Good opportunity to use the category. Come on. Stick. There we go. All right. Surfaces not referenced by any geometric tolerance or uh, dimension. That is another one that you can have in here. And let's see, there's another one for annotations if uh, for verifying the reference text. So for example, you have an annotation that says 4x. Hey, it'll verify that. Does it actually reference, uh, have four surfaces in the reference? And also combination state names if you want to make sure that your combination states file follow a particular format. Uh, let's see one to mention for a drawing. Now when you run model check on a drawing underneath information you now have geometric tolerance in here uh, so it used to be that geometric tolerance only worked on parts and assemblies now geometric tolerance works in drawing mode here we have zero if I jump over to sheet two you'll see that there's actually a geometric tolerance that comes from a model but it'll report if you have any geometric tolerances that are defined in the drawing itself and this will help promote model-based definition so that people understand that you really should be creating your geometric tolerances in the models these days as opposed to creating them directly on the drawings. 
Now, I want to mention a couple other different ones. Uh, the report here that you are you used to be able to export, it is now in a single HTML file. It used to be in multiple different files here. Unfortunately, in Creo Parametric 6.000, I was not able to be able to get the reports to generate. So I need to do some more research on that and figure out if it's an issue with the software or do I have my model check configured incorrectly. And another thing that PTC said is that uh, if you did make some updates in here, you're supposed to get a warning to save the model. I have not been seeing that warning, so I need to follow up on that one as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.